This is Tomo News for Thursday, June 1st. Water pipe explodes action movie style and upend street in Ukraine. Viral video coming fresh out of Ukraine this week shows the moment a sidewalk randomly explodes in the most epic of fashions. On Monday, an underground water pipe in the city of Kiev got a nasty case of kaboom. Street Michael Bay style. The blast sent sludge and God knows what else down the road. Several vehicles and homes were damaged, but no one was hurt. According to Euro News, the cause of the explosion is unknown, but local media says officials were conducting pressure tests. Truck bomb explosion in Kabul kills dozens, wounds hundreds. More than 80 people have been reported dead and at least 460 were wounded in the deadliest terrorist attack to take place in Afghanistan in many years. This according to the country's deputy interior minister. The devastating blast came via a truck bomb that stopped just outside Afghanistan's presidential palace in Kabul, which was also near the foreign embassies of Germany, Turkey and the UAE. According to the New York Times, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani had reportedly just finished his morning briefing when his palace windows exploded. The damage could have been even worse had police officers not blocked the truck from entering the restricted zone the bombers were likely attempting to reach. Those who lost their lives were mostly innocent people, heading to work during the period of high traffic in the morning. Of the roughly 13,000 NATO forces stationed in Afghanistan, about 8,400 are American soldiers. The U.S. is currently contemplating sending as many as 5,000 more troops into the war-torn area. The Taliban has reportedly refuted accusations that it was responsible for the attack, yet Afghanistan's national security and intelligence agencies believe the terrorist group's Haqqani wing was behind the plot. Delta passenger loses his shit over luggage space. What about sitting on a plane is so difficult these days? A tipsy passenger flipped his lid on Tuesday afternoon when he found out there wasn't enough room for his carry-on luggage and had to be pulled off a flight by police. The incident occurred on Delta Flight 2646 in Tampa as passengers were boarding the plane for a flight to LaGuardia. Robert Tuttle popped his top after the horrific discovery that the overhead bin above his row was full. And so like any normal adult, he reacted by throwing a tantrum and yelling at another passenger for putting her bag above his seat. He then manned up and tossed the woman's bag, then got into it with a flight attendant. Tampa International Airport police got on and ordered Tuttle to get out of his seat. When he refused, an officer grabbed him by the back of his neck. He eventually calmed down and the cops put him in cuffs, at which point Tuttle claimed he was a cop too. Sir, you're a trek pass from Delta Airlines. They told you they did not want you on the plane. You refused to comply. No money. I need this stuff. You don't got to choke somebody. You don't got to choke somebody. So we move the way back, ma'am. You don't got to choke somebody and put a choke hold on your Put your arm on my throat. Can I take my glasses off? Hey. Tuttle's little freak out caused the flight to be delayed by two hours. Hey, still beats driving, or does it? Tiger Woods' DUI video hits the internet. A starry-eyed Tiger Woods is the star of this police dash cam video released on Wednesday, which shows the golfer being arrested on a DUI charge. Woods was taken into custody in Jupiter, Florida in the early hours of Monday, after cops found him at the side of the road, fast asleep at the wheel of his Benz. Woods later tested negative for alcohol and explained his dopey condition was due to an adverse reaction to prescription medication. But it's not hard to see why the cops initially thought Woods was drunk. I mean, just check out the eyes of the tiger. The full police dash cam video is well over an hour and a half long, so find a comfy seat, grab some popcorn, and get ready to watch the most exciting police movie since Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> only joking. We've condensed the footage down to some edited highlights, with the added bonus of a Tiger Woods compilation at the end. So sit back and enjoy. Do you know the English alphabet from A to Z? Uh, yes. You do? What's your highest level of education? Sophomore in college. Sophomore in college? Okay. With your feet together and your arms down by your side, okay? So go ahead and get there now with your arms down by your side. Okay. 
don't begin until I tell you to, okay? But when I tell you to, I want you to close your eyes and tilt your head backwards, okay? And you're going to recite the entire English alphabet in a slow, non-rhythmic manner, meaning you're not going to sing it, okay? Do you understand the instructions? Okay, what were the instructions? Not to sing the national anthem backwards. Not to sing the national anthem backwards? Okay. What I want you to do when I tell you to, keep your arms down by your side and your feet together, okay? I want you to close your eyes, tilt your head backwards. When I tell you to, don't begin until I tell you to. And I want you to say the alphabet from A to Z in a slow, non-rhythmic manner, okay? Meaning you're not going to sing it, okay? Do you understand the instructions? Okay, what were the instructions? I repeat, A to Z. Not rhythmic uh, lettering between A through Z. Make sure you get everyone correct and what you do. Okay. okay, make sure you don't sing it, okay? Just say it. Yeah. Okay? All right, go ahead and put your arms down by your side. Your arms down by your side. Go ahead and touch the side of your shorts. Okay, what I want you to do is close your eyes and tilt your head backwards, okay? And then go ahead and begin when you're ready. And what? The ABCs from A to Z in a slow, non-rhythmic manner, okay? What do you mean? You may begin when you're ready. Mr. Woods, you don't have to walk anywhere. What do you mean? Go ahead and stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side. Oh. Are you okay? What's wrong? What are, what are we doing? Right now, I want you to say the alphabet from A to Z with your eyes closed and your head tilted backwards, with your feet together and your arms down by your side in a slow, non-rhythmic manner. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So go ahead and stay with your feet together and your arms down by your side, just like this, just like I am. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. Yeah. Tilt your head backwards. Go ahead and close your eyes. You're not closing your eyes. I don't really trust that. What is that? Alright, I'll put it back. What I need you to do is stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side, okay? Okay, feet together. Alright, go ahead and close your eyes, tilt your head backward. Okay, and then you're going to say the entire English alphabet from A to Z in a non-rhythmic manner, meaning you're not going to sing it, okay? A, Do you understand? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, sir, what I want you to do is go ahead and place your hands behind your back, okay? Can I go ahead and release your hands for me? Alright, go ahead and put your hands together just like this. Perfect. Okay. Oh, what is this one for? Just relax, okay? Just give me one second and I'll explain everything to you, okay? Alright, right now, okay? I'm placing you under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence, okay? Do you understand? Okay, go ahead and step right in front of my patrol car for me. All right, go ahead and spread your feet for me. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, prick me, stick me, uh, or cut no. me? No. You don't? No. Okay.
drop with her. Driver's going to be 1015, reference signal 1. I'll get you the deal number in a minute. Family finds massive gator chilling in their pool. A Florida family had an unexpected visitor drop by their pool on Memorial Day, a giant alligator. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office got a call on Monday after a family found a big old alligator chilling in their pool. A young lady cleaning the family's pool made the 911 call. Deputy Lori Clark was the first on scene and got some face time with the uninvited pool pal. The alligator was estimated to be around seven to eight feet long. Authorities then called a trapper who was able to get the gator out of the water so it could be moved to a more appropriate location. The video shows the gator thrashing around violently and performing death rolls to try to get loose from the trapper's noose. Yikes! Ringling Bros refuses to let its performing big cats retire. Long marketed as the greatest show on earth, on May 21st, Ringling Bros and Barman Bailey Circus finally drew its curtains for the final time. The company's decision to call it quits came after years of public backlash, condemning the training methods used to get the non-human performers to do certain stunts never before seen in the wild. Unfortunately, if you thought those involved may have gained a conscience in the process, you'd be sorely mistaken. According to documents obtained by CBS News, Ringling Bros owner Feld Entertainment is attempting to obtain an Endangered Species Act permit from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, with plans of sending 15 big cats to Circus Krone, a circus in Munich, Germany that uses animals in its acts. The permit is meant to be issued for applications which demonstrate the transfer of the animals will enhance the propagation or survival of the species. However, the Animal Legal Defense Fund claims making a nominal donation to any conservation group is enough to fill the requirements. If true, this would pretty much make the Endangered Species Act permit somewhat of a sham. Feld Entertainment claims the animals are owned by their trainer, Alexander Lacey, and since he has no further employment here in the United States, he will be taking his talents, along with his lions, tigers, and leopard, to Germany, as is his right. But they insist Lacey loves his cats, and they're like members of his family. So I guess we should just take their word for it, right? Rather than retire at a cozy, reputable animal sanctuary, these creatures would much rather be shipped in crates across the world, where they'll get to continue performing with Lacey for the rest of their lives. Just look how happy they are. 